let us discuss important parts in chapter wise see chapter number 1 sets here a question a is equal to set x such that x is a prime number less than 16 and b is equal to set 1 to find a intersection b and a difference b see we know prime numbers prime number means what it is not a composite number these are the exams 2 3 5 7 11 13 these are prime numbers below 16 okay here the factors of 2 are only 1 and 2 therefore 2 is a prime number 3 1 and 3 because 1 into 3 is 3 similarly 1 into 5 is 5 1 into 7 is 7 no other factors are there for these numbers here uh, let us take 9 <coughs> 9 can be split as what 3 into 3 9 so 3 is another factor other than 9 and 1 therefore 9 is not a prime number similarly 8 is not a prime number because what 8 can be split into 2 and 4 2 into 4 is 8 okay therefore these are the prime numbers uh, less than 16 15 is not a prime number because what 15 can be split as 3 into 5 so anyway this is a and b is given as set 1 2 okay then what about a intersection b which means what common for both a and b that is two only okay two is common what is a difference b a difference b is a set of all elements of a which are not in b so you can write the elements of a but you cannot write the elements of b here a difference b means uh, you can write the elements of a elements of a means 2 3 5 7 11 13 13 but you you cannot write 2 because what 2 can be seen in this b so 2 is not written here and 3 5 7 11 13 okay 3 uh, here 4 this is not correct 4 is not needed here because 4 is not here therefore the answer answer is what 3 3 5 7 11 13 3 Five, seven, eleven, thirteen. So erase this four. This is not added. Okay. So that is all about a difference b. Then write the power set of capital A is equal to one, two, three. Set one, two, three. Okay. Power set means what? Set of all subsets of the given set. So uh, we can take first subset subset as a one. That is the set A itself. Every set is a subset of a given set. So A1 is set 1 2 3 and A2 is taken as what empty set so uh, given set and empty set are always the subset of a given set then next set is of about two elements is 1 2 then 1 3 2 3 1 2 1 1 3 2 3 3 then set 1 set 2 set 3 these are the subsets of a given set capital A okay then what about power set power set is a set of all subsets that is a1 a2 a3 okay uh, question number 3 if u is equal to set 1 2 3 4 5 six, capital a is equal to set 2 3 find a complement a complement means what a complement is the set of all elements other than a you cannot write the elements of a elements of a means 2 3 remaining elements are what 1 2 3 is can be seen in the set a so other elements means 1 4 5 6 1 4 5 6 these are the elements of a complement this is a symbol for a complement okay or a dash so a dash is this one <coughs> fourth question in a group of 400 students 250 can speak hindi so <coughs> there are total 400 elements 400 students that is n of a union b hmm. or n of h union english h means what the number uh, set of uh, students who can speak hindi and similarly set of students who can speak english means 200 okay number of elements 200 english 200 hindi 250 total 400 we have the formula n of a union b is equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b or instead of a and b we are using h and e n of h union e is equal to that is 400 is equal to n of hindi 250 n of english 200 minus n of h intersection e it is to be found out 
This is unknown for us. Okay. Also, each can speak at least one of these languages. How many students can speak both Hindi and English? So, number of students who are eligible for speaking both Hindi and English means N of H intersection E. Okay. So, 400 is equal to 450 minus dash. So, this is what 50 because 450 minus 50 is equal to 400. Therefore, N of H intersection E, which means what number of students who are able to speak both Hindi and English equal to what 50. That is all about the question. Then we are going to next chapter, chapter 2, relations and functions. See the question, if x plus 1, comma, y minus 2, equal to 3, comma, 1. See, there are two elements here, x plus 1, comma, y minus 2. Here, 3, comma, 1. Okay, see the comma here, comma here. So, instead of x plus 1, there is 3. Okay, x plus 1, there is 3. Similarly, instead of y minus 2, there is 1. Okay, so x is what? x plus 1 is equal to 3 okay. x plus 1 equal to 3 therefore x is what 2 because 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 similarly y minus 2 is equal to 1 means y is equal to 1 3 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 let capital i is equal to set to 1 2 3 and b is equal to set 3 4 find a cross b see a cross a and b are these two sides a and b then what's a cross b set 1 3 1 4 2 3 2 4 3 3 3 4 this is a cross b next question draw the graph of mod x plus 1 absolute value of x plus 1 okay let us take different possible values for x we are taking from minus 4 to plus 4 this is arbitrary you can take minus 5 to plus 5 okay here I am taking uh, elements from minus 4 to plus 4, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So when x is equal to minus 4, what happens? Minus 4 plus 1, that is minus 3. Mod minus 3, mod means always taking positive value. Mod minus 3 means 3. Similarly, when x is taking, uh, x is uh, given as minus 3, that is minus 3 plus 1, that is minus 2. Mod means 2. Okay. Similarly, these columns can be filled out. Okay. Then, minus 4 3 minus 4 3 okay minus 3 2 minus 3 2 minus 1 1 minus 1 uh, sorry uh, minus 2 1 minus 2 1 minus 1 0 and finally we can draw the graph like this okay this is the graph of mode x plus 1 next question let A is equal to set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and R is a relation uh, from A to A. So, this is A, this is A. Which are the elements? A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A to A. Again, A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And R is a relation from A to A. And it is defined from A to A by R is equal to XY such that Y equal to X plus 1. So, a relation is named as R. From A to A, relation is R. So, how to error mark for this question? See, y equal to x plus 1. If x is equal to 1, 1 plus 1 that is 2. So, you add 1 to each x of uh, the set A. So, we have to add 1 for each element. So, when you take this 1, 1 plus 1 that is 2. When you take 2, 2 plus 1, 3. Okay, when you take 3, 3 plus 1, 4. And 5, when you take 5, 5 plus 1, 6. When you take 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, but 7 is not here. Okay, because set A is different as from 1 to 6. So, this 6 has no image in this set. Okay, so this is free. Anyway, so what is domain? The next question is what? So, this is expressed in arrow diagram. This is arrow diagram. Okay, write the domain of the relation. Domain means set of all possible values of x, which are the possible values of x 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 cannot be taken because 6, this 6 has no error mark. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 5. This is a domain. Then we can take chapter 3, trigonometry. If cos x is equal to minus 1 by 2, x lies in the third quadrant. See, first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant. So, figure is like this. Okay. This is the angle. Suppose it is O, origin, A, B. This is a right angle triangle. And cos x is equal to minus 1 by 2. Find va value sin x and tan x. What is the definition of cos x? Adjacent side by hypotenuse. Okay. Cos x means adjacent side by hypotenuse. For this triangle, this side is opposite side for this x. And this is the longest side which is always hypotenuse. Then the only possibility for getting adjacent side is AO. So this is adjacent side. It is opposite side. It is hypotenuse. Okay. 
why we draw figure here because x lies in the third question, third quadrant by the question first second third okay so given as cos x is equal to minus 1 by 2 so cos x is equal to minus 1 by 2 which means what adjacent side by hypotenuse so this is adjacent side this is hypotenuse okay so adjacent side is minus 1 and hypotenuse what 2 okay so by using pythagoras theorem we have o a square plus a b square equal to o b square pythagoras theorem o a square plus a b square equal to o b square this is what then what is o a square minus 1 square plus root 3 square okay sorry minus 1 minus 1 square plus what is a b a b is unknown because this is not obtained now or this is not given in the question this is to be calculated okay so o a square plus that is minus 1 square plus a b square equal to hypotenuse square means 2 2 square so minus 1 square plus a b square is equal to 2 square minus 1 square means 1 plus a b square is equal to 4 2 square means 4 so 1 plus 3 equal to 4 therefore a b square is equal to 3 so a b is equal to what square root of 3 that is this one this is found out now a b is equal to root 3 okay then we have to find sin x and tan x see sin x and tan x what is sin x what sin x means what opposite side by hypotenuse what is opposite side opposite side means this one root 3 okay root 3 hypotenuse is 2 that is root 3 by 2 here root 3 means this is a uh, downward direction therefore this two, root 3 can be taken as minus root 3 so this answer will get what minus you, you have to put minus here minus root 3 by 2 this is the answer why minus because this is downward direction so minus root 3 by 2 then tan x is what opposite side by adjacent side what is opposite, opposite side root 3 adjacent minus 1 so this can be taken as minus root 3 minus root 3 by minus 1 okay minus so you have to put minus here minus root 3 by minus 1 right this question prove that sin square pi by 6 plus cos square pi by 3 is equal to 1 by 2 what is pi 180 then pi by 6 means 30 pi by 3 means 60 okay then you can take scientific calculator to solve this problem otherwise you have to learn trigonometric formula or trigonometric values for certain angles by heart so you can take this as this is by using scientific calculator so left hand side is for sin square pi by 6 plus cos square pi by 3 which means sin square pi by 6 means 30 so sin square 30 plus cos square 60 okay this is square sin square sin square okay sin square 30 plus cos square 60 by using scientific calculator you press sin 30 then you get 0 0.5 cos square plus cos 60 which means 0 0.5 then cos square means 0 0.5 all square then using calculator 0 0.5 square means what 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 which is what 0 0.50 0, 0 0.5 square means 0 0.5 which is half half means right hand side therefore it is proved okay chapter number four principle of mathematical induction for uh, this chapter we are taking a question using the principle of mathematical induction prove that 7 raised to n minus 3 raised to n is divisible by 4 for all natural number n belongs to capital n means set of all natural numbers okay so here 7 raised to n minus 3 raised to n is divisible by 4 for taking by the condition of mathematical induction we are taking step 1 as n is equal to 1 so first you take p of n is 7 raised to n minus 3 raised to n as a question then what uh, what is for n is equal to 1 p of 1 is equal to 7 raised to 1 minus 3 raised to 1 7 raised to 1 means 7 minus 3 raised to 1 3 that is 4 4 can be divisible by 4 because 4 by 4 is 1 so this 4 is a multiple of 4 or 4 is divisible by 4 okay step 2 n is equal to 2 then you get 40 okay 40 is divisible by 4 because what 40 by 4 is 10 okay you get answer and step 3 is what uh, you can substitute n is equal to 3 n is equal to 4 because because and uh, this is not taken because this is a time consuming one n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4, n is equal to 5, etc. So, arbitrarily we are taking n is equal to k. We are assuming that it is true for n is equal to k. Then what is p of k? 7 raised to k minus 3 raised to k, which is divisible by 4. This is our assumption. So, you write like this. Okay. Seven, uh, p of k is equal to p of k. k. This is k. 7 raised to k minus 3 raised to k, which is divisible by 4. That is, this is our assumption. Then we have to prove it is true for n is equal to next number which is what k plus 1 n is equal to k plus 1 so 7 we have to prove 7 raised to k plus 1 minus 3 raised to k plus 1 
so we will reach here by using step 3 by our assumption okay you can stop here then chapter 5 complex numbers find the value of i raised to 12 you know that i raised to 12 means i square whole to 6 because 2 into 6 12 okay what is i square by the definition of complex number i square is equal to minus 1 raised to 6 minus 1 raised to 6 means what minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 up to 6 times that is plus 1 okay so answer of i raised to 12 is equal to what 1 13th question x plus the complex number 3 into 7 plus i7 plus i into 7 plus i7 in a plus i b form so we have to expand this as 3 into 7 plus 3 into i7 plus i into 7 plus i into i7 like this step okay 3 into 7 21 plus 21 i plus 7 i plus 7 i square okay i square is equal to minus 1 21 i plus 7 i means what 28 i now this step plus minus becomes minus 21 minus 7 means 14 plus 28 i this is the answer represent the complex number z equal to 1 plus i root 3 in polar form so we are taking z is equal to 1 plus i root 3 what is the formula for polar form z equal to r cos theta plus i r sin theta or r i sin theta so there is plus symbol there is plus symbol so left side of plus means what r cos theta here 1 so r cos theta is equal to 1 similarly r sin theta, theta is equal to root 3 equation number 1 and 2 you divide this 2 by by 1 okay 2 divided by 1 is what r sin theta by r cos theta that is root 3 by 1 so r can be cancelled sin by cos means tan tan theta is equal to root 3 so you can stop here okay chapter 6 linear inequalities very important so 3 into x minus 6 less than 5x minus 3 you can find the value of x by using the term in by using the symbol inequality so first you expand first you consider this as equal to symbol and you forget about the uh, condition less than so you just imagine this is as equal then 3 into x 3x minus 3 into 6 18 uh, equal to 5x minus 3 5x minus 3 then 3x minus 5x less than minus 3 plus 18 so uh, 3s minus 5s minus 2s less than 15. this is the answer you can stop here this can further be simplified but you can stop here then graphical method to solve the inequalities 2s plus y greater than or equal to 6 3s plus 4y less than or equal to 12 x greater than or equal to 0 y greater than or equal to 0 first you take this is inequ this inequality 2s plus y greater than or equal to 6 first you imagine this as equal okay then you make a column or table like this x y so first you fill here 0 and here 0 then this 0 means what x equal to 0 what happens when x equal to 0 2 into 0 that is 0 0 plus y equals 6 or y equal to 6 okay so you, you got the value of y similarly when y equal to 0 what happens when y equal to 0 becomes 2x equal to 6 2x equal to 6 means 2 into 3 equal to 6 so, so x is equal to 3 okay so you fill this table and similarly for this inequality 3x plus 4 by less than 12 you are taking you can take 3x plus 4y equal to 12 and make a table like this then apply 0 here then when x equal to 0 this term vanishes then 4y is equal to 12 then y is equal to 3 similarly when x y is equal to 0 this term uh, will vanish then 3x is equal to 12 plus 3 to 4 equal to 12 therefore x is equal to 4 then draw corresponding straight lines first for first table 0 6 0 6 3 0 3 0 this one so you draw this straight line and name as what 2x plus y equal to 6 2x plus y equal to 6 similarly by using this table you can draw another straight line this one okay then uh, first you take this first straight line this straight line this straight line has two parts one is this part and another is this part so you can make shade either on either this part or this part okay okay first you uh, consider this part if you shade along this side this will include but zero zero origin okay when you shade this part zero zero will be included okay zero zero so you apply zero zero here because this is the first case okay two into zero plus y greater than or equal to zero that is this becomes zero this becomes zero zero greater than or equal to six is zero greater than six no it is false because zero is less okay so zero greater than six means false so you cannot shade here but you can shade this part okay so i make an error mark here 
so this this side this direction has to be shaded okay along this direction similarly for this straight line there are two parts this part and this part when you shade this part zero zero will be included so you apply zero zero here this becomes zero this becomes zero zero less than 12 it is true because zero is less than 12 12 is greater so you can shade along this side so that is why I put an arrow mark here. So this can side can be shared. Then by observing the figure, common shared region will be this one. Okay, for this side and for this side, for this direction and for this direction, common sharing will be here. This is a solution. So that is all about this question. Chapter 7 Permutations and Combinations. How many chords can be drawn through 21 points on a circle? It is by using combination chapter, combination sector because to draw a straight line we need two points okay that is two here and question says that 21 points so 21 c2 uh, take scientific calculator and you press 21 c2 you will get answer 210 how many three digit numbers can be formed using the digits 1 2 3 4 5 by assuming that the repetition of the digits is not allowed so you can form three digit numbers see three digit number okay so first play first digit place second third place okay three digit number so here you are given five numbers so the any of the, these five numbers can be marked here okay because this is the first column so five any of the any of here one can be happen here happened here two happened here three happened here okay four five etc so these five any of the, these five numbers can be put here okay that is five number five total number five then, if repetition is not allowed, what which number is presented here cannot be in, uh, considered here. Okay, so this is there. Uh, suppose if we wrote three, if we wrote three here, then three cannot be here. Then one, two, three, four numbers. That is four here. Okay, so here we filled. Here we filled. So, so two numbers are used. Okay. So, suppose first we use 1, 4 here, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, any of the 5 numbers can be used here, that is 5. Suppose it, this number is 1, 1 is used here, and 3 is used here. So, 1 and 3 can be removed from here. Then 2, uh, then 2, 4, 5 are alone, that is 1, 2, 3, okay? That is 5, 4, 3. Then by principle of multiplication, or principle of counting, what is total answer? Total number is 5 into 4 to 3, that is 60. When repetition is allowed, any of the 5 numbers can be written here. And we are as uh, we, we are permitting the repetition. So, which number is uh, used here can uh, also can be also used here. That is 5, 5. And the same number can also be used here. So, 5 into 5 into 5, 125. Because what? Repetition is allowed here. And here repetition is not allowed. For the number of permutations using the letters of the word Allahabad. So here A is used 1, 2, 3, 4 times. L is used 2 times and so on. Okay. Then total number of arrangements or total number of permutations is equal to how many elements are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 2 factorial into 1 factorial into 1 factorial into 1 factorial. Okay. So what is uh, 1 factorial means 1 itself, 1, these all are 1, so 9 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 2 factorial, okay, so what is 9 factorial, 1 into 2 into 3 into 9, 4 factorial, 1 into 2 into 3 into 4, what is 2 factorial, 1 into 2, so by simplifying you will get this answer. Chapter 8, Binomial Theorem, expand 2x plus 3 whole touch to 5 and find the middle term in it, okay, using binomial theorem, what is binomial theorem, this one. A plus B whole touch one is equal to A raise to N plus N C one A raise to N minus one B plus N C two A raise to N minus two B square plus N C three A raise to N minus three B B Q plus etc. Last is B raise to N. So instead of A, you can use two X and for B that is three and for N that is five. Then this happens. Okay. A raised to n plus n c one and, and so on and so on. Okay. Five you, when you get five, uh, three raised to five, that is B raised to five. B raised to B raised to n. You can stop here. 5c1, 5c2, 5c3, 5c4, 5c5. So, after reaching this one, you can stop here. Be plus 5c6, which is not possible because 
5 see 5 is the last because 5 is here then you simplify 2 raised to 5 that is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 5 times because 30 which means 32 x raised to 5 by scientific calculator you can take for the values 5 c1 which is 5 5 c2 10 5 c3 10 5 c4 5 and 5 c5 1 so this is the expansion and you can simplify this 32 into 5 and uh, sorry 32 x raised to 5 plus 5 into 3 15 2 x raised to 4 and so on then which are the middle terms how many elements here if uh, what is uh, what is expansion of a plus b whole square a square plus 2ab plus b square three times when you expand a plus b whole square there will be three times one more term okay when you expand a plus b whole test to 5 there will be six terms okay see one two three four five six there will be six terms okay to find the middle term one two three four five six terms okay which which terms are middle here these two terms are middle because there is two there is two so middle terms are what t3 and t4 if the question is like if it is four if there is four its expansion will be in five elements so if it is five one two three four five this will be the middle this only will be the middle okay for this question these two are middle terms what t3 we know the formula tr plus 1 you learn this formula by head tr plus 1 is equal to ncr a raised to n minus r b raised to r for t3 we have to substitute 2 here 2 plus 1 3 so to find t3 you take 2 to substitute here 2 plus 1 3 okay t3 then n means 5 5 c2 n means in the question 5 5 c2 r means 2 5 c2 r means 2 okay 2 5 c2 air air is to n minus r air is to n minus r 5 minus 2 b raised to r 3 raised to 2 so this is answer similarly t4 what is t4 so to substitute r is equal to 3 3 plus 1 4 and you will get this answer chapter 9 sequences and series for the sum to n terms of the series 7 plus 77 plus 7 7 7 plus extra for, for to solve this problem first we take 7 outside then 111 111 etc okay because what 7 into 1 7 7 into 11 77 and so on and you divide this number by 9 so 9 plus 99 plus 999 plus etc because 9 9 by 9 1 99 by 9 11 okay so this step is common for all questions if there is 4 44 444 you take 4 outside then 1 11 111 etc then you take 4 by 9 then here what 9 99 okay for if it is 5 55 then this will be 5 all others are same okay what is 9 10 minus 1 99 100 minus 1 and so on so first you arrange 10 100 1000 etc together then minus 1 minus 1 that's minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 then minus 4 and so on that's minus n generally minus n so you know the formula s equal to a into r s to n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 this is the sum to n terms of a gp a means first term what is first here 10 10 into r means common ratio 10 into 1000 into 10,000. So R is 10. 10 is multiplying to each number. Okay. 10 into 10, 100 into 10,000 into 10, 10,000. Okay. So R is equal to 10. 10 raised to n minus 1 divided by 10 minus 1 minus this n. So that is all about the answer. 10 minus 1, 9. So this is answer. If it is 555, then what will be the answer? Here 5 by 9. Okay. That's all. Instead, 4 arithmetic means between 18 dash 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 53 okay so this is in ap that is why question marked as arithmetic mean so anyway 18 plus common difference this term that's d 18 plus d here plus d here plus d here plus d here plus d 53 so how many d's are used here 1 2 3 4 5 d's okay 18 plus 5 d is equal to 43 then 5 d is equal to 43 minus 18 not 43 this is 53 this is not 43 53 okay then 53 minus 18 is 35 d is equal to 35 by 5 7 okay so then you can fill it as what 
18 plus 7, 25, plus 7, 32, plus 7, 39, plus 7, 46, plus 7, 53. Okay, so these are the answer. Insert for geometric means between 2 dash 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 64. Here, instead of common difference, we are taking common ratio R. Since it is in GP, we have to multiply by the common ratio. 2 into R here, into R here, into R here, into R here, into R here. How many R's? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 R's. That is A into R is to 5 is equal to 64. A means 2. 2 R is to 5 is equal to 64. 2 can be transposed here. And R is to 5 is equal to 64 and half 32. So R is to 5 is equal to 32. 32 means what? 2 raised to 5 like this. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 raised to 5. So R is equal to 2. So 2 into 2, 4. Into 2, 8. Into 2, 16. Into 2, 32. Into 2, 64. So this is... Uh, Geometric means. These are the geometric means. Chapter 10 straight lines. Find the angle between the lines 2x plus y is equal to 4 and 2x minus y is equal to 2. So we have to find the angle between these two lines. First line 2x plus y equal to 4. Well, you fix y here, then minus 2x plus 4. We have the formula y equal to mx plus c. So this is m. m is equal to minus 2, which is taken as m1 minus 2. Similarly, for this straight line, minus y is equal to minus 2x minus plus 2, or y is equal to 2x minus 2, changing the symbol. Then y is equal to ms plus c, so m, m2 is equal to 2, m2, m1 for first line, m2 for second line. Okay. Then you, you learn this formula by here, tan theta is equal to modulus m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1, m2. So apply here, m1 is minus 2, m2 is equal to 2, so you will get the answer, minus 4 by minus 3, that is 4 by 3. Okay. Reduce the equation 6x plus 3y minus 5 equal to 0 into slope intercept form and intercept form. Slope intercept form. Okay. So given us 6x plus 3y equal to 5. Okay. Minus 5 outside, uh, right side equal to 5. What is 3y minus 6x plus 5? y is equal to minus 6x plus 5 by 3. Or minus 6x by 3 plus 5 by 3 splitting. So this is the slope intercept form. Then intercept form. Question is this one. 6s plus 3y is equal to 5. You divide the whole expression by this 5 because we need to get here as 1. So this and divide by 5, divide by 5. This becomes 1. Because our formula is what? x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. So here now we obtain 1. So 6s by 5, splitting 3y by 5. Okay. So x by 5 by 6. So you take the reciprocal. See here 6 by 5, then 5 by 6 plus 3 by 5 or 5 by 3. So x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. This is the intercept form. Chapter 11 conic section. Consider y square is equal to 12x. Find focus, directrix, lattice spectrum. Y square is equal to 4ax. This is our formula. 4 into 3 into s, 12x. Okay, so this 12 can be expected as 4 into 3. So what is a 4 into a into s? What is a 3? The focus, to find the focus, formula is a is 0. Then since a is equal to 3, 3 is 0. Directrix means x equal to minus a. Learn this formula by heart. So x equal to minus 3. Lattice structure means 4a. 4 into a, 12. Okay. Chapter 12, introduction to 3 dimensional geometry. Find the distance between p minus 3, 7, 2 and q, 2, 4, minus 1. So what is the distance formula? Root of x2 minus x1 all square plus y2 minus y1 all square plus z2 minus z1 all square. So this is x1, x2, x3. No, no, no. x1, y1, z1. It is x2, y2, z2. Okay. x2 minus x1, 2 minus minus 3 all square plus 4 minus 7 all square plus minus 1 minus 2 all square. Okay. 2 plus 3 two negatives 5 square plus minus 3 square plus minus 3 square so answer is root of 43 for the ratio in which the line segment joining 4 8 10 and 6 10 minus 8 is divided by xy plane okay so when you are given xy plane then z equal to 0 when x z plane then y equal to 0 when y z plane then x equal to 0 here xy plane is given then z equal to 0. Then you take the formula z equal to lz2 plus mz1 divided by l plus m. 
learn this formula by head if here y equal to 0 then l y 2 plus m y 1 divided by l plus 1 if x equal to 0 l x 1 l x 2 plus m x 1 divided by l plus 1 that's all then z this is z equal to 0 0 is equal to l into z 2 what is z 2 x 1 y 1 z 1 x 2 y 2 z 2 okay l into minus 8 plus m into z 1 10 divided by l plus m and you take this l plus m to the left side and 0 into l plus m which means 0 itself minus 8 l plus 10 m so you take this minus 8 l to the left side 8 l equal to 10 m or l by m is equal to 10 by 8 then you make half 5 by 4 so 5 is to 4 is the answer chapter 13 limits and derivatives you learn these three results by heart d by d is of x raised to n is equal to n x raised to n minus 1 if there is x raised to 5 5 x raised to 5 minus 1 this is 5 x raised to 4 okay similarly d by d is of f of x into g of s multiplication so starting with f of x f of x into d by d is of g of x plus g of x into d by d is of f of x similarly division first you take g of x g of x into d by d is of f of x minus f of x into d by d is of g of x whole divided by g of x whole square then there are uh, two questions x square into x cube plus 5 so f of x this one g of x is this one so f of x into d by d is of g of x plus g of x into d by d is of f of x okay x square not cube x square not cube okay x square into this can be split at d by d is of x cube plus d by d is of 5 like this plus x cube plus 5 same d by d is of x square means 2x because x raised to n formula n x raised to n minus 1 that's 2 x is 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 means 1 2 x raised to 1 that is 2 x okay x square this is x square x square into here what 3 x square x raised to n formula n x raised to n minus 1 3 x raised to 3 minus 1 that is 2 the De derivative of constant is always 0 whatever the number may be here 5 or 6 or 10 or 1000 or etc answer will be 0 okay so this is the answer then see this question d by d is of x plus 3 divided by x square so f of x by g of x formula g of x into d by d is of f of x minus f of x into d by d is of g of x whole divided by g of x whole square x square into splitting d by d is of x plus d by d is of 3 minus x plus 3 into okay 2x so x square into d by d is of x means dx, dx can be cut then answer is 1 constant is 0 okay so this is the answer Chapter 14 Mathematical Reasoning. Read the negation of the statement every natural number is greater than 0. This negation means what? Negative. So you start with it is false that. This is very important. It is false that. Then, like this, every natural number is greater than 0. Okay. Next question Read the converse of the statement if a number n square is even, then n is even. Converse means just uh, opposite. That is, if the number n square is even, then n square if the number n is even then n square is even here it says as what a number n square is even then n is even and the converse is what if n is even then n square is even okay then contra positive and you use not for this sentence when you consider contra positive that is if a number n square is even then n is even it's contra positive means what if the number if the number n is not even then n square is not even okay this not is extra here in converse there is no not okay chapter 16 statistics consider the following table you see this table class frequency okay find mean variance standard deviation so for that you, you should make a column like this class 30 40 then its middle value because 30 plus 40 70 its half is 35 similarly 40 plus 50 90 its half 45 so this is x value and f means frequency these are frequency then x into f 35 into 3 105 45 into 7 that no 45 into 7 you multiply it is not 35 Similarly, 55 into 12, 660, 65 into 15, 975, 75 into 80, 600, anyway, 
uh, this column will be the product of this and this x into f okay then you have to find x bar what is x bar formula sigma x of by n this is x of. you add all these numbers that is sigma x of. that is 2 8 2 0 divided by n n means total number of frequency you add this 50 so 56 minus so 56.4 is the x bar the next column x minus x bar that is x means 35 35 minus 56.6 answer is this one and 45 minus this answer answer is this one 55 minus this one so and so on x minus x bar next to column its square it is minus 21.4 whole square square of negative number is also positive number so you multiply 21.4 into 21.4 so answer is 457.96 and you find all the squares okay squares of all these these numbers then f into x minus s bar whole square f is this one so you multiply this column and this column 3 into 457.96 okay then you will get this column then you add these numbers that is sigma f into x minus x bar whole square so answer is 15305.78 okay so that is all about the table regarding standard deviation then mean means x bar that is this 56.4 variance means sigma f into x minus x bar whole square by n you learn this formula by hand so sigma f into x minus x bar whole square by n that is sigma f into x minus x bar whole square this by n means 50 okay and this is 306.11 standard deviation its formula means here root okay root of this one so root of this one okay 17.4 is the answer and last chapter chapter 16 probability a coin is tossed twice what is the probability that at least one tail occur you toss two coins then you will get head for first coin and head for head for second coin so h h head for first coin tail for second h t and so on t h t t what is the difference between h t and t h here h for first coin t for second coin tail for second coin here tail for first coin head for second coin at least one tail at least one tail means minimum one tail okay no need of uh, uh, no need of restriction you can take more than one tail that is at least one tail means one tail means minimum one okay no problem about maximum minimum one tail so here here one tail okay no problem here one tail okay no problem here two tails very good because minimum one okay h t t h t t how many numbers three one two three total one two three four so probability means three by four okay Next one, if E and F are two events such that P of E is equal to 1 by 4, P of F is equal to 1 by 2, and P of E in the section F is equal to 1 by 8, find P of E or F. E or F means E union F. P of E complement in the section F complement. Sometimes a dash is used here. P of E dash in the section F dash. Okay. We know that pro, uh, pro, uh, probability formula. P of A union B is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. Then E or F means what? E union F. Then P of E plus P of F minus P of E intersection F. Then substitute P of E is what? P of E 1 by 4. P of F 1 by 2. This one 1 by 8. Okay. Cross multiplication and you get the answer 5 by 8. Then this one P of E complement intersection F complement. By De Morgan's law, we know that E complement intersection F complement means what? E union F whole complement. This is the formula. Let this by heart. Then to avoid this complement, we need to take 1 minus. If you take 1 minus, then this complement will be vanished. Okay. 1 minus P of E union F. That is 1 minus. P of E union F means the answer of the previous question 5 by 8. And by cross multiplication, answer will be answer will be 3 by 5. Okay. This is all about the important notes okay